and even finding things that might be new to the analyst. New slang terms are coming out the time and before you had to anticipate that and search for it yourself but it, now you can use AI to actually bring that to you. So that brings the technology into you instead of the analyst needing to be trained in a new term, trained in a new process, a new method of operation. Now the analyst can fluidly interact with the graph through our AI companion and get those insights. And this is just the beginning. We're starting with uh, the graph having this type of analysis. It can already be done uh, with live interactivity in the system. So not only you can ask for those records, but you can also say things like, can you color all these records for me in red or highlight to me in bold all the words that are mentioned in these terms and it, it will present that interaction automatically in the graph. So it letting you quiz the graph for what kind of data you are looking for, but it's also letting you use features inside the software even if you don't know where to click or you don't know where to go. Right? So it's much more natural to interact. No different than people have now been accustomed to using Gemini, ChatGPT. Uh, they don't go through extensive training. They uh, interact with it and they learn from that experience itself. So now we have Siren actually guiding the user on how to use Siren instead of having to be trained before they can use this solution. Right? And this is a, a big change for us and it's the first uh, introduction of the canine companion now helping you with your link chart helping you understand the link chart produce reports and so on now we're currently working on the next evolution of that right where we will couple that with the search capability so once we can perform searches now you'll be able to create sophisticated investigations where you can say give me everything uh, I want to know about the, this incident number and then perform me an automated investigation for the basic things I should look for. And then the canine company will be able to search for data about the suspect, search similar, similar crimes that happen in the same area, search for other people that have collaborated with that suspect before in the past, uh, see if there is commonality among the victims, if that suspect actually targeted other victims with the same profile, see if there were any linked vehicles that are suspicious, and then bring all of that into the graph. And then do the extra steps on the graph as well and create a nice summary. And then the analyst can start their investigation from that point, revise everything that was produced by the AI, right? So it's important that the AI actions are transparent. Right. We don't want the AI to drive the process. We want the AI to do what the user is asking for and then walk you through each step so that the individual can then revise line per line and see if what the AI produced is coherent with what they are looking for. And that's very important to have credibility that a human is in control of the technology, not the other way around. Right? And with that full integration, now we are really going to the realm where you can start an investigation in a minute. So in one minute you can go from I have a suspect, I have a case, and I have now a full uh, picture of what I'm looking at. And the analyst can focus on understanding the data instead of trying to navigate a solution to get to the data that they need to look at. Mm -hmm.